All right, we stayed at Bear Fence Hut. Bear, yeah, Bear Fence Hut. Uh, last night, which made for like a nine mile day, maybe, I don't know. Total underachiever right here. Um, but PR's taking his heartworm and flea and tick meds. That always makes him feel crappy. I don't think he's feeling 100%. Plus I gave him a bath at that hotel and he hates baths and he's sulking about it. So, I don't know. The shelters are all like 10 miles apart or 20 miles apart. Like, tomorrow I can probably do a 15. Today looks like an 11 or a 22. I don't want to do a 22. And I'm not going to stay at one of the campgrounds. I guess the park is now open. So... I don't know how that will work. If we'll run into people or what, it's only open for day use, I think. The campgrounds aren't open, just the trailheads. Something, I don't know. Later. My morning view. Park's open. We've heard a few cars. I haven't seen any people. PR hears something, smells something. Getting excited about something. PR. <coughs> Heel. Get back here. What are you doing? Looks like we're headed up there. I don't know. Let's go check it out. I didn't look at today's profile elevation wise because sometimes I just like it to be a surprise. And it's only 11 miles. How bad could it be? Let's just enjoy this beautiful weather. This rock's cool. You can go right down under there. There's these cliffs up here. Pretty cool. this morning. These cliffs here. With the sun coming up right behind. It's awesome. I just passed a flock of children out hunting salamanders. That was pretty cool. They were telling me about the different types. And then the section here is quite beautiful. And a cloud kind of floated through. Pretty sweet.
Here, wait. There goes a hawk. What is your problem? Are you hot? PR. How you doing, buddy? Oh man, you guys. The day hikers are out in full force. We just went past a parking lot and there's so many cars that there's no room for people to park. Look, this way. So this one guy in this fancy little sports car was parked like literally right on the trail. So for me to walk through, I was like up against these uh, burdock bushes. So it was either walk through those or go all the way around the back of his car <clears throat> and the other car that was wedged in next to him in spots that weren't parking spots like right at the post that tells which direction you're going <clears throat> I want to leave a note on his windshield that said hikers please leave any unwanted trash here and I'll dispose of it for you and then we could just pile all of our trash on his of his car. <laughs> That'd be funny. <laughs> I wouldn't do that though. But what a douche. <laughs> oh boy. There's a little tr cabin down here, too. Over there. <laughs> I think I'm just going to camp right here. Because it's covered. And why not? 